what is up people before i begin today's video i want to address some kinds of comments i've been getting the comment here says my recent video on this guy this name doctor guy uh the comment says that this video is neither debunking nor uh satire whatever bro the actual debunking and stuff i've already done on my main channel it's called science is dope i was under the assumption that people who were subscribed to my same channel were already subscribers of my main channel but it appears that uh, some people are not aware of my main channel it's called science is dope and i even mentioned that name dr video that uh, if you go to this video i've done a detailed analysis debunk i've taken a deeper look into things like cold reading things like uh, barn statements i don't see the point in debunking something i've already debunked is that something you would like to watch you don't want to see me debunk it every time i mention it right my second channel is just me reacting to uh, people putting out pseudo science content uh, all sorts of bs and commenting on it and if there is uh something relevant that i've done i may might mention it even otherwise these are all things that i have explored on my major i've explored a ton of stuff there are very few things that i haven't done and if there is something like that that i come across i usually mention that and then there was this comment which was there in my video on meeda uh, which i released like 2 days back the one featuring this lady uh talking about fee mongering on uh, meeda this particular comment says i haven't provided evidence why meeda is not bad i've just said she's wrong dude my last two again i should refer to my main channel my last two videos on my main channel these two videos i've talked extensively about diet fee mongering including meeda and i've spoken to an actual nutritionist a clinical nutritionist about meeda specifically on top of this detailed debunking of fear mongering including that on meeda again i don't see the point of doing it all over again in every single video where i mention it so if you are not aware of my main channel or those videos on my main channel please check that out before you comment stuff like this i will put videos over here of me reacting and commenting on people putting out stuff that are clear bs and people derive value from it just see the rest of the comments on this video just look at them so yeah i'm going to keep doing it uh, people who like watching it and learning from it or maybe they weren't aware of a certain thing and i do mention that in the video and i point them to a video on my main channel where i talk about it in detail that's something people want to see and so for those people i'm going to keep making these kinds of videos now i'm not going to leave you off with just this rant i'm going to watch some instagram reels that people have sent me and this one has gotten really popular lately i've i've taken this slightly modified one the ki universe mein sabse fast cheez light hoti hai agar ye sach hai then why is it that agar aap abhi sun ke surface ke bare mein soch lo to aapke thoughts turant wahan tak pahunch jata matlab aapke thoughts light se bhi zyada fast hote now obviously this is misunderstandings and this is bs that ranveer has learned you can all probably see the flaw in this but like i usually do i will break this down cuz that's my job Now obviously light is something that physically travels from point A to point B. Thoughts are not something that physically travel from point A to point B. Right now I can think of the Andromeda galaxy. That's couple of million light years away from us. Does that mean something from me has physically reached there? Because if it has then my thoughts are 2 million light years per second that fast. No, nothing is physically reached there from here light physically goes from point a to point b thoughts don't physically go yeah i just had to say it man. i just had to explain the joke <laughs> next video through rati bhai ne abhi apni recent video mein ye kaha ki hanuman ji pahad nahi utha sakte ye to nahi ho sakta to aaj main unko kuch udaharan deta hu jisse unko clear hoga ki ye bhi mumkin hai ye okay 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 before i watch the rest of the video i can guarantee you that this guy is not gonna talk about or provide evidence why a mountain can be carried by a character in a book he is not gonna provide evidence for that i'm saying that before before i play the rest of the video 
बुद्धिस्ट मंग ने अपने आप को आग लगा दी और आग लगाने के बाद उनके मुंह से दर्द की एक साउंड भी नहीं ये कैसे मुमकिन है हम सोचेंगे तो हमें तो लगेगा कि बिल्कुल इम्पोसिबल है ये तो हो ही नहीं सकता लेकिन बुद्धिस मंग ये करते हैं दूसरा उदाहरण पहाड़ों में हिमालय की चोटियों पर बैठे हुए बुद्धिस मंग वो अपने ऊपर गीला कपड़ा रखते हैं उस गीले कपड़े को अपने शरीर की आखिर सुखाते हैं ये कैसे मुमकिन है राठी आइए आपको बहुत छोटी छोटी बातें बता रहा हूँ मैं अगर आप हिमालय की गुफाओं में घुस गए और वहाँ पे आपने साधु संतों को देख लिया की वो क्या क्या कर सकते हैं तो वो एक आपका अलग ही अनुभव हो जाएगा देखो ज्ञान बनता है अनुभव से पहले आप खुद अनुभव करो क्योंकि ये चीज है ये हमारी इंद्रियों से परे है हमारी इंद्रिया इस फिजिकल वर्ल्ड को समझने के लिए काफी है लेकिन इस फिजिकल वर्ल्ड से परे अगर हमें कोई बात समझनी है तो उसके लिए हमें अपनी इंद्रियों से भी परे जाना पड़ेगा जिसके लिए हमें बहुत सारे ध्यान बहुत सारे अनुष्ठानों की आवश्यकता तो आप अनुभव करिए आप जानिए तो आपको समझ में आएगा की This is simple hasty generalization fallacy where he is concluding that just because there are these few things that we can't explain the buddhist monk on fire yogis in the himalayas and that dancing idol of the god or whatever he has taken these few examples which haven't been explained well I, i'm sure they have an explanation uh, i haven't looked at that um, i haven't verified that but all he is doing is he's taking these few things that we haven't been able to explain and generalizing it to everything we haven't been able to explain like the uh, character in the book carrying the mountain and saying that that is possible if this is possible then that is possible that is a hasty generalization and uh, the ranveer thing uh, the light and uh, thoughts thing that we saw earlier that's a false equivalence that he did and i think that's about it ये मिथ्या नहीं है कि हनुमान जी ने पर्वत उठाया था ये सत्य है ये इतिहास है हमारा जय श्री राम या ही इज मेकिंग अ लॉट ऑफ मेजर जनरलाइजेशन टू कंक्लूड व्हाट ही डिड कंक्लूड दैट्स बेसिकली इट आई थिंक आई एल एंड द वीडियो हियर आई विल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वन